Lord, some praise in this place. The Bible declares that from the rising of the sun to the going down of the set, same if you please. The name of the Lord is worthy uh, to be praised. We call him Yahweh because he is holy. I understand something today, our friends of mine. Uh, there were some young men who lost their lives senselessly. Senselessly. And they took lives before their lives was taken. Wow. Mercy. And just this morning, if you please, right here in Tobago, a body of a young man was formed. Yes. We understand something. The song says we are living and we are dwelling yes. in a grand and awful, awful time. time. Oh, yes, preacher. Oh, but I'm thankful. I said I'm thankful Praise the Lord. that we still serve a God who is a mighty king. Hallelujah. And we serve a God who is faithful the Lord. even when we are faithless. If yes, you sir. Please. Tell us. Yes, sir. And so he is faithful. All the time. And he is holy. All the time. And in his name, we can make our boast. Oh, yes. Please. Because he gives us victory All the time. over our enemy. All the time, preacher. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, before I present the word tonight, as is customary, uh, more prayer, more power. power. And so I'm going to pray on the village of Plymouth. Amen. Uh, because I understand that there are young men on the block. Yeah. And understand something, young man, you could have been a sad story. Yes, sir. Uh, you could have been a sad story yes. today. Yes, preacher. But save for the grace and the mercy of the living God. Somebody help me Thank with this God. mic tonight. Thank God. Praise the Lord. Help me out here. Help yeah. me out with the yeah. mic tonight. Yes, sir. But save for the mercy and grace of the living God. Yes. It That's... is because of him because... why you have not yet consumed. Oh, yes. Praise the Lord, preacher. And so I'm going to pray for you tonight. That God will grant you deliverance Amen. over the enemy. Amen. We want deliverance over the enemy. Yes, preacher. The enemy has come in like a flood. Yeah. And he has flooded us out. Yes. But God. But God. But God. But God. I say, but God. But God, preacher. And so tonight, 7.56 on a Thursday evening. Yes, sir. Bow your heads with me as we pray. O mighty king, O faithful one, yeah. we praise you tonight because yes. only you are worthy. Yes, Lord. We thank you tonight because only you are holy. Yes, Lord. O God, tonight your people have gathered under this tentorium one more time. Yes. We have come by here, O oh God, and we have brought with us the things that concern us. Yes, Lord. O oh God, we ask tonight in the mighty name of Jesus yes. that you will visit this place Amen. called Plymouth. Amen. That you will look upon each resident, O oh God, yes. upon each visitor of this place called Plymouth. Yes, Lord. We ask for your Holy Spirit's power oh, in yes. this place. Oh, yes. Oh Lord, we ask that you break some chains in this place. Break it, Lord. Oh God, the devil has come and he has bound some persons. He has, he has, uh, he has as it were, uh, tripped us up, if you please. Yes. But we are thankful tonight that you possess all power. And there is power in the name of Jesus to break chains. Hallelujah. I pray that you'll break some chains in this place yes. tonight. Break it, Lord. Set men and women boys and girls free yes. in the name of jesus yes sir. because as the bible says he who the son of man sets free is free indeed indeed, indeed, indeed. set us free tonight yes sir. by the power of your living word yes sir oh god i ask one more time as i present your words to your people hide me behind calvary yes cross. So that as your word goes forth, men and women, boys and girls, may see you high and lifted Hallelujah. up. Hallelujah. For you said that if we lift you up, mm -hmm. that you will draw all, all men. men to yourself. All men. So draw us tonight 
by the power of your word. Yes. Bless those who are locked on online as well. Yes, Lord. Grant them the blessing that they have come in seek of. Oh, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And amen. And you may have your seats. And you may have your seats. Reader. Yes, preacher. What going on, reader? God is great, preacher. Mm -hmm. Reader, the rain flood you out? Uh, well, not really. Not, no, no. Good stuff. I, I, I was reader, flooded. I had to think about that, I, man. I, I, was flooded. I, I was thinking what to say. I was flooded out by the blessings of God. Oh, yes. My family and myself. All right, Praise preacher. All right, reader. Hallelujah. I was talking about physical flood. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, you know that I have for the spiritual too. Amen. That dominate the physical. That's right. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So, read up. Yes, sir. What are we discussing tonight? Well, preacher, we're discussing tonight the real solution. What's the topic tonight, the reader? The real solution. The real solution. The solution. Yes, uh -huh. sir. You see, on Monday night, read up. Yes, sir. I spoke to us on the topic, the real problem. Yes, sir. And just in case you missed it, I made mention of the fact that we all have problems in this life. That's right. I also said that as long as you are a human being living on this earth, yes. you will encounter problems of all sorts. Yes, sir. I also mentioned the fact that the one real problem yeah. In this life is sin. Yes, sir. You remember that, reader? Yeah, yes, preacher. Uh -huh. Stay with me tonight. Stay I, I, with me tonight. Yes, yes, I'm with you, preacher. You see, every one of us, yeah. whether you're a policymaker, uh -huh. a pastor, yeah. a priest, yes, sir. a police, uh -huh. like Brother Larry, uh -huh. or even if you are a pauper, yes, if sir. you please, yeah. we are all affected by sin. That's true, preacher. Whether uh, we are all struggling yeah. with this issue called sin. Yes, sir. But one thing I know for sure Tell us, preacher. is that all of us all. are seeking a solution to the issue of sin. That's right, preacher. That's right. I mean, I mean, I mean, who really wants to have problems forever? Good question, preacher. Who in their right mind? Wants to have problems forever. Good question. Uh, show me a human being who wants to have problems all the days of his life. Uh. And I will show you a human being who has lost their mind. Oh yes preacher, correct. As long as we are in our rightful minds. Uh -huh. We are all seeking the solution to our problem. That's right. Sin. That's right, that's right. Correct. And as the young people would say, we are all seeking a soft life. Yeah, yeah. Nobody wants a hard life. No preacher. We all want a soft life. True. You're smiling, Kenil. That means I'm in things. Uh. <laughs> How do I know that? How, how do I know that? Uh -huh. Well, if you ask, I'm glad you asked. You see the reason... Why people work so hard. Tell us, preacher. Even rob and steal uh -huh. is not primarily because they love work. True. Or that they just love stealing. That, mm. they, that's what you thought? Mm -hmm. No, that's not the reason why. True, preacher. You see, the reason why people rob and steal and even work so hard is that is it because we are all seeking a solution to our problem. That's right. That's right, preacher. You see, the real reason why people work or even rob and steal is because we all have a financial problem. Yes, sir. We all need money yes, sir. to survive. Yeah. And most of us believe that the solution to the problem is to work hard and get money to live a decent life or to rob people so that we can get money to live a decent life. Go on, preacher. Go on. Go on, preacher. 
Oh yes, friends of mine. And the real reason why we do the things we do in this life is not because we are 100% sold on doing them. That's true. Hello? Tell us. I said some of the reasons why we find ourselves doing things in life, even working so hard, is not because we are so sold on working. True. But it's because we see working as the way to solve our problem. On track, preacher. Uh, on stay track. with me tonight. On track. However, I would have also stated on Monday night, I want to be very clear that all the problems in this world, whether financial, physical, mental, whatever problem, work with me tonight with yes, this sir. mic. Yes, sir. Tell her. Go on. Work with me. Work with me. Fix the preacher. But all the problems of this life all stem from one problem. Yes, sir. Tell us. And that problem is sin. Yes, sir. That problem is not your pay. Uh huh. Hello. The problem is not your boss. No, sir. The problem is not your husband. No. Or your wife. No. Or your son. Or your daughter. No way. Oh no, friends of mine. The problem tonight is sin. Yes, sir. That's the word. It is sin that destroys the human family. Yes. And has caused us to hate our brothers and sisters. Yes, sir. Uh, it is sin that has destroyed the very fabric of society. Uh -huh. Up to the you. point where young men who are raised yes. in good homes, if you please. Go on, preacher. Go on. Find themselves locked on with friends. Yes. And when their parents are asked, how did they get themselves in the problem? Wow. They found themselves in the parents are saying, listen, I do not know. Wow. Mercy. I raised the boy right. Mm. Mm. I raised him to the best of my ability. Yeah. But because of sin. That's the word. I say because of sin. That's the word, preacher. The young men found themselves Liming with some people they had no business liming with. That's right. That's true. And today, they are dead. Sad. Sad. I'm speaking it real tonight. Yes. Sad. Sad preacher. Sad. See, the problem with the world today. Tell us. Is not that there are too many people on the planet. True. The real problem. Tell us. With the world is sin. Yes, sir. That's the word. So since sin is the problem, the question you may ask yourself tonight is... All right. The devil is mad, but I am glad. Praise the Lord, brother. Be glad, preacher. I said, the devil is mad. Yes, sir. But I am glad. Hallelujah. He's going to lose some souls he's tonight. A he's a loser. That he thought he had. Yes, he all the time. He's a loser. I said, friends of mine, uh, the problem with the world today is not that there are too many people on the planet. True, preacher. The real problem is sin. That's the word. And since sin is the problem, then you may be asking yourself tonight, Yes. What is the solution? Or is there a solution for sin? Tell us, preacher. Oh, I want to inform you tonight that the Bible, yes, I said the Bible, Yes, sir. provides the real solution. Yes. To this sin problem. Yes, sir. That's the book. Friends of mine, I, I want us to note this fact tonight. Yes. That God's plan to redeem man from sin. Yes, sir. Was not an afterthought. No. As I said before, and I will keep saying it yes. night after night. Tell us. In this crusade. Yes. Uh, there is absolutely nothing that takes God by surprise. True preacher. 
talking, preacher. You're preaching. You see, God had a plan. Yes, sir. Long before sin entered this space. All the time, preacher. And at the appointed time, yeah. he put the plan in place. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hello? Yeah. I said he had a plan. Yes, he had. Long before sin entered this place. That's right. And at the appointed time, yes, sir. he put the plan in place. In place. In place. And so even before man sinned, yes. God had a plan to redeem us. Yes, sir. Glory. And this plan, this plan, uh, he activated when man sinned. Yes, sir. And so when man allowed sin in the camp, in Genesis 3, verses 1 to 6, God gave a prophetic response. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Uh, what was this response, reader? At uh, Genesis 3, 15, what does the Bible say? It says, preacher, I will put enmity. I will put what? Enmity uh -huh. between you and the woman. Uh -huh. And between your offspring and hers. They will strike at your head while you strike at the heel. All right. And so friends of mine, from, from this point, yes, sir. struggling, pray for the preacher. Take it down. Hmm. You see, God activated his plan. Yes, sir. To provide the solution to this sin problem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so when you read the Bible. Yeah. And you see all the problems that sin caused. Yes, sir. A reading from Genesis to Revelation. Yes. Brother killing brother. Hmm. And all types of sins from your age and my age. Yeah. God himself has provided a solution to that problem. All the time, preacher. Uh, Matthew 1, uh, 21, let's, let's get into the solution, reader. Tell us. And it says, preacher, and she shall bring forth a son. Uh-huh. And thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, the yes. Bible is certain and is clear yes. that Jesus will save his people from their, from their sin. Yes, sir. From or in other words, Jesus is the solution to the sin problem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, but you may be asking yourself tonight, how did Jesus solve this sin problem? Uh -huh. Tell us, preacher. Oh, I'm glad you asked. Uh, take a walk with me tonight. Yes, sir. You see, Jesus came into this earth. Yes. Born in a manger. Yes, sir. And the solution to the sin problem came into this earth in the humblest way possible. Yes, sir. Uh, Luke 2, verse 7, what does the Bible say? And it says, preacher, and she brought forth her firstborn son uh -huh. and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Laid him in a manger. Yes, sir. Because there was no room, no room. for him. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Huh. Imagine the man create the yes. place. Yes. And there's no room for him. Sad. Sad preacher. I could preach a whole sermon right there. Hmm. Imagine he created us. Yes. And sometimes we operate as though we have no room for him. True, preacher. Lord, that's have true. mercy. Ah, uh, but I want to join the song right at the night. Yes. Sir. And say, Oh, come to my heart, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Because there's room in my heart for you. Plenty room, preacher. Hallelujah. He was raised in a small country town. Yes. Are some 64 miles north of the city of Jerusalem. Mm. And when one called Nathaniel was told about him, yes, tell us. and this man Nathaniel gave a shrewd remark. And what does the Bible say? John 1 45 to 46. And it says, Philip found Nathaniel and said to him, we have found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, 
Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Mercy, Jesus. Philip said to him, Come and see. Come and see. Can anything yeah. good come out of Nazareth? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let me just let me just make a pit stop right here. Yes, sir. I say I want to make a pit stop right here. Make it, here. preacher. Make it, preacher. And I want to make this real point. Yes, sir. Uh, to somebody who is listening tonight. Yes. I hear the preacher tonight. Yes. Uh, in this life that we live. Yeah. Uh, because of this sin problem. Yes, sir. You may find yourself in a position. Where people may discriminate against you. Yes. Lord have mercy. I say people may discriminate against you. Yes, preacher. Simply because of where you are from. That's true, preacher. That's true. That's true. Mm. Some people may discriminate against you. Yes. Because of the color of your skin. Uh-huh, that's right. Some people may discriminate against you. Yeah. Because your hair too hard. Yes, sir. Hello. Yeah. And some people may discriminate against you for no apparent reason. That's true. They just bad mind. Uh-huh. Oh, but, but understand something tonight. Tell you can us, smile sir. tonight. Tell us, please. Because you, you see, you are not the first person who was discriminated against. That's true. For Jesus. Yes, Jesus yes, sir, that's was right. discriminated yes, against. Sir. Uh-huh. True. And so here, the preacher tonight. Yes. When people discriminate against you. Tell us. For whatever the reason. Tell us. Keep your head held high. Hallelujah. And keep being your awesome self. Praise because the Lord. you, as long as you are in company with yes. Jesus, you are in good company. Hallelujah. Love it, preacher. Big word. Big, big word, preacher. Hallelujah. As long as you are in company with Jesus. Yes, sir. Let them talk. Yes. They could discriminate all they want. Yes. As long as you are in company with Jesus, with Jesus. you're in the best company. Best company, preacher. Best company. And that was Hallelujah. just the pit stop. Yes, sir. Let's get back to this story. Yes, sir. And so the solution came to this earth. Yeah. Raised by Joseph uh-huh. and Mary. Yeah. He grew up into a loving Caring young man. Hallelujah. At the age of 31, uh, he signaled his earthly mission. Uh, he signaled his entrance into his earthly mission. Yeah. At his baptism. Yes, sir. And when his cousin John the Baptist saw him, uh-huh. he made a bold declaration. Yeah. What does the Bible say? John 1, 29. The next day, he saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God. And said what? The Lamb, the Lamb of God uh-huh. who takes away the sin of the world. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You see, John was convinced in his heart yes, sir. that Jesus was indeed the real solution. Yes, sir. Yes, that sir. Jesus... After his baptism, yeah, uh, he went about ministering to others. Yes, sir. Uh huh. We talking about Jesus. Uh huh. That's the man. Oh yes, as the song says, everywhere he went, he was doing good. He was doing good. Hallelujah. I'm not cursing. I can't sing. Yes. But everywhere he went, he was yes. doing good. Praise the Lord. Uh, he healed the sick. Yeah. Uh, he he healed the blind. Yes. Uh huh. He took. One little boy's lunch. Yeah. And he turned it into a banquet. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He went from place to place. Yes. Touching men. Mm. Touching women. Touch boys him. and girls. Yes sir. He got a first hand clear view. Yeah. Of what sin had done to the human race. Yes sir. Lord. Have mercy. Mm. I said he got a first hand.
second view yeah. of how sin had destroyed what he created. Of course. Uh huh. And then, and then, tell us, preacher. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then he then. died. Yes. And paid the price. Yes, sir. For sin. Hallelujah. Oh, what is the price for sin? That oh, I'm glad you asked. Tell us. Let us hear what Romans has to say. And it says, for the wages of sin is death. But the oh, stop, gift, stop, 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 stop. Read again. For the wages of sin is death. Uh-huh. But stop. Death. Stop. The wages of sin is death. Is death. Stop right there. You see, somebody needs to understand tonight. Yes, sir. That the penalty for sin is death. Death, preacher. Death. Yeah, that's it. The penalty for sin is death. Death. If that is the case, then we are all doomed to die. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. We are all doomed to die. Yeah. But hold on just a minute. Uh huh. Let me continue this explanation. All right. Because you see, friends of mine, this death that is spoken about in this text yeah. is not just the death that happens to us after we are put in a box and placed six feet under. Go on and tell us. Or we are cremated and our ashes are spread. That's uh -huh. not what the Bible is speaking about. Go on, preacher. It goes a lot deeper than that. Yes, sir. You see what Paul in this passage in Romans is saying? That is that the payment for sin is total separation from God. No, that's the word preacher. That is a big word preacher. Separation. Big word. And so because of Adam's sin. Yes, sir. Our payment was to be total separation from God. Separation. Total separation Sad. from God. Sad preacher. Oh, but I'm thankful. Praise the Lord. I said I'm thankful. Yes, sir, we too. I am thankful that the text did not stop there. Amen. Hallelujah. I read again, reader. Start from the top, if you please. What does the Bible say? For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ to our Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Praise understand this tonight, somebody. Yes. Yes, you see, sin's wages yes. is death. Yeah. And because of sin, yes. we were all doomed to eternal death. Yes. Oh, but. But. I said, but. But. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, I love that conjunction, Contra Pastor Rose. Contrast. Because I understand something. You see, that yes. conjunction, it stops everything that took place before. Yes. Yes, and sir. now we are marching yes. to what Hallelujah. God really wants Hallelujah. us to understand. Hallelujah. You see, he said, listen, the yes. wages are my voices yes. back. Hallelujah. Yes, he said, the wages yes. of yes. sin is death. Yes, sir. But. 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 Contrast preacher. The wages yes. of sin is death. Yes. But, but, but preacher. I said the wages yes. of sin is total separation yes. from God. But, but, but the gift of God. The gift of God. I said the gift of God gift is of God. eternal life. Eternal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the eternal life comes Christ. only through Jesus. Christ and him alone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's why I Praise can join Lord. with the songwriter yes, and that says, listen, in Christ alone, Christ my Lord. hope is found. Yes, sir. And he is my light, my yes. strength, my yes. song. Hallelujah. This cornerstone, this yes, solid ground, yes, firm through the fiercest yes, droughts sir. and storm. What Preach heights Lord. of love, Preach what Lord. depths Preach of peace. Preach when fears oh. are still and all striving cease, yes, Jesus is my comforter, my all in all. Take your time, Here Richard. in the love of Christ, Take I stand. Yes, Hallelujah. Sir. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory.
Harry. Hallelujah. Big word preacher. Big word. Big word preacher. Jesus paid it all. Hallelujah. That's why all to him I all. Yes, sir. Sin has left uh -huh. a crimson stain. Yeah. As a sin has left yeah. a crimson stain. Yes, sir. Look in the society. All you see is a crimson stain. Yes, sir. Blood all over. Yes, sir. All over, preacher. But he, but I say, but he but, washes it yes, white sir. as snow. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. 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 Big word. The Lamb of God. Yes. Who takes away the, the sins, sins of the world. Of the world. Hallelujah. Big word, preacher. Go on, preacher. You're going good. Going good. Oh, preacher. tonight. Tonight. We're going to keep it real. Yes, sir. Keeping it real. All the time. You see, as I seek the transition. Yeah. And to close this message yes, tonight. Sir. Tell us. You get the message already. Yes, sir. You get it. You see, I want to tell you about the other part of this story. Tell us. That I was telling or that I was sharing. Let me use the right English. We're online. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That I was sharing on Tuesday night. Yes, sir. Tell us. I gave you a story about a young man from a village named Blizzard. Yeah. Who found himself playing cricket uh -huh. on the Sabbath mm. out of church. Yeah. When he promised himself he never would have done anything of that nature. Uh -huh. But I never told you how the story ended. True. Or ended. Tell us, preacher. You see, I was big and boast, Brother Carlos. Because I ended up scoring a big 50 mm. in the Antigua Recreation Ground. Wow. And if you know anything about that ground, you know that one Brian Charles Lara broke the world record in that ground twice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the wicked good for batting, man. Uh -huh. And I got my opportunity and I put my name in the newspaper in bowl. Uh -huh. Sister Joy. I put my name in the newspaper. And here I am walking down the main street in Antigua Town. Uh -huh. One of them called Market Street. So I bounce in. Enjoying my life. I feel uh -huh. good. And I met an elder from the church I used to attend. Uh -huh. Lord have mercy. Uh -huh. When I saw the man, I tried to dodge him. But anyway... In Tobago, you say, well, yeah, I make four. Yeah, yeah. yeah we I make four. Mm. And he opened the newspaper to me. Ah. Show me the page. With my name there in bold. I feel good. I, I made one mistake. Mm. I should have asked him for the newspaper, cut it out, and put it in my room. But that's for another story. However, without condemning me, Mm -hmm. And asking me why I stop come church and, and all these things. The elder said something to me that stuck with me for the rest or will stick with me for the rest of my life. Tell us, preacher. The elder said to me, listen, do not forget what God has done for you. Hallelujah. Oh, friends of mine, listen, when I look back at my life, yeah. I didn't look back the same day. Uh -huh. I didn't look back the same day. But when I look back a couple months after, yeah. when I started to reflect on what the man said to me, yes, sir. I said to myself, how could I have gotten myself so far away from God? Wow. I said, Lord, help me because I'm not brave enough to face the people and them that are done cause out. Ah. And so, you, in the hearing of my voice yes. tonight, yes. Uh, you may be like me. Yeah. You may have accepted Jesus before yeah. and you would have run from him like Usain Bolt. Yeah. Or you probably would have never accepted him in your life before. Mm -hmm. 
And you are wondering to yourself, listen, how can I come back from this far country that I have found myself? You see, understand something tonight. Sin carries you to a far country. True preacher. Sin carries you to a place where you wouldn't even recognize your own self. Mercy. Mercy. And so you may be like me tonight. But I just want to share with you what the elder shared with me. Yes, sir. Do not forget what God has done for you. No, sir. No, sir. Oh, and just in case you forgot, I'm going to remind you right now. Okay, yes, sir. You see, he woke you up this morning. Yeah. And he started you on your way. Yeah. And even when you couldn't, or even when you had no time to wake up in the morning and ask him for traveling mercies, yeah. he still made you hop in your car, drive where you're yes, going, sir. and find your way back home yes, safely. Sir. Yes, sir. He did. He did all that. Yes. Because understand something. You jumping in your car and practicing and driving in your best yeah. Does not mean that you wouldn't meet accident. True preacher. It is of the mercies of the Lord. The mercy. mercy. Why you jumped in the car. Yeah. And got back home safely. Yes preacher. Correct preacher. Oh but most importantly. Tell us. Tell us. Even before you were born. Yeah. Uh, we were all wrapped yeah. in a web of sin. Yes sir. Jesus came. And he died yes. so that you could live. That's true. I say he died yeah. so that you can live. Yes, preacher. What love divine. Hallelujah. He gave his life yes. for mine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And so tonight, I'm going to invite my sisters to sing this song. Yes. His life for mine. Yes, sir. His life for mine. Yes, sir. How? Could it ever be yeah. that he would die? Yeah. God's son would die yeah. to save a wretch like me. Question. And let me tell you something, young man, under the mango tree. Yeah. If God could have saved a wretch like me, yeah. he can save a wretch like you. Yes, sir. Correct is right. Correct, preacher. Because there's no difference between me and you. Yeah. The only difference is Jesus. Yes, that's the man. Jesus that's the man. is the difference that's the between man. me and you. Yes, sir. Because if I did not have Jesus, I would have probably been on a block, said we. Word preacher, word. Word preacher. It is because of him yes. and him alone because of where I can come and present the word of God to you tonight. Yes, sir. Do not forget do not what god has done for you oh, yes correct one preacher says even when you had more energy than you had sense wow. and the devil wanted to make a shipwreck of your life yeah the lord god he climbed down yes, in sir. the bosom of his righteousness yes, and he holds your life hallelujah. together hallelujah praise the lord preacher big word Big word, preacher. What love yeah. divine. Yes, sir. He gave his life yes. for mine. Yes, sir. As they come and as they sing this song, yeah. I pray that those of us who have not yet made a decision to give Jesus our all, that we will make that decision tonight. 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 Tonight, yes, sir. The Bible says today, yes. if you hear his voice, yes, sir, harden not your heart. Yes, sir. Good. His heart, the song is beautiful, man. Yes, sir. The song says his heart was broken. Yeah. Mine was mended. Yeah. His heart was broken. Yes, sir. So that mine could be mended. Hallelujah. And that's how it goes. Hallelujah. Sing this song, man. I hope they're behind me. I don't know. Yeah, they are. All right. Yeah. Sing this song. Sing this song. Grace of 
heart was broken, mine was mended. He became sin, now I am clean. Oh yes, he became sin. Hallelujah. The cross he carried bore my burden. Hallelujah. The nails that held him set me free. His life for mine, his life for mine. How could it ever be? How could it ever be? That he would die. That he would die. God's son would die. God's son would die. To save a wretch like me. What love divine. What love divine. He gave his life for mine. Yeah, sing the song. His scars of suffering brought me healing. He spilled his blood to fill my soul. Oh yes, his crown of thorns. His crowns of stones made me royalty. Hallelujah. His sorrows gave me joy untold. His life for mine. His life for mine. His life for mine. How could it ever be? That he would die. That he would die. God's son would die. God's son would die. This song means so much more a cappella. Hallelujah. Wretch like me. What love divine, Plymouth. What love divine. He gave his life for mine. His it's life for mine. Oh, his life. For mine. His life for mine. How could it ever be? How could it ever be? That he would die. That he would die. God's son God's would die. Son would die. Just to save a wretch to like save me. Save a wretch like me. Oh, hallelujah. What oh, love. Hallelujah. What love divine. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He gave his life for mine. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Now I'm thankful that God gave his life for mine. Amen. I'm thankful that Jesus left the splendor of heaven yeah. to die on a cross Amen. for me Amen. and for you. Yeah. Amen. It was an embarrassing death. Yes. As a matter of fact, if you know anything about Calvary, you will understand that the Romans placed him outside of the city to yes. make him a spectacle yes. for those who yes. are passing by. Yes, yes. And that spectacle or what they tried to do, they didn't understand what they were doing because the Bible said yeah. that if he be lifted up, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. they lift him up and yes. they placed him outside yes, the city. Sir. But they lifted him, lifted up. him up. That's yes, the mistake they made. Yes, because sir. when you lift him up, the yes. Bible says that he will draw all, all men. men unto all himself. Men. All men. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. And so he's calling all of us tonight. All. He's saying, listen, the wages of your sins death. is death. Yeah. But the gift that I give you yes, sir. is eternal life. Eternal life. Uh, who wants to say tonight, Lord, I want eternal life. If you want to say tonight, Lord, grant me eternal life. Grant me the free gift it's free to you, but it cost him his life. Yes, sir. If you want to say tonight, Lord, grant me that gift. 
I'm going to invite you to stand to your feet as we pray. Hallelujah. A great God. Amen. What love divine. Yes. You gave your life for ours. Amen. We thank you for your word, O oh God. Yes. We thank you for the fact that when we were dead in trespasses and sin, yeah. even before we knew our own selves, mm. you left the splendor of heaven yes. where angels bowed before you day and night crying, holy, 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 yeah. Lord God almighty, you left that to walk the dusty streets of Palestine. Yes, amen. Just so that in 2022, you could save somebody Hallelujah. in Plymouth. Hallelujah. Oh God, tonight, we ask Holy Spirit that you will visit this place called Plymouth. Yes. Lord, the truth is, uh, the searching of the heart belongs to you. Yeah. And I ask, oh God, tonight that you search every single heart, whether in this place or on the distentorium, or in the hearing of my voice. Yes, Lord. I pray that you will search each heart, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. And arrest men and women, boys and girls. Yeah. Allow us to understand tonight yeah. that you have given us the opportunity to have eternal life. Praise the Lord. But the choice belongs to us. Yes. I pray tonight, Holy Spirit, that we may choose life. Yes. That we may choose you. Yes. That we may choose to follow that which you have asked us to follow. Yes. That we will open our hearts to the yielding of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless us with an extra special blessing. Yeah. And bring us back tomorrow night where we can hear another portion of your word. Mm. This we ask in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And tomorrow night, tomorrow night, we will look at the topic. We will look at the topic. Is a love thing. Yeah. Is I Z a love thing. Yes, sir. So if you are in love, you can wear red. All right. For me, I don't wear red. <laughs> but tomorrow night is a love night. Hallelujah. And I know Trinidad colors suggest love, black, white, and red. Yeah. I might beat that, Muriel. I might wear that. Black, white, and red. Yeah. So wear your red. Yeah. And let us flood this place. All right. With the red color. In yes, Jesus' sir. name. Amen. Amen.